here it's Lizzie from Old Stables Crafts again. Uh, welcome back and thank you for hitting play. Um, this is the sample I have for you today, which basically means I don't have one. So, um, what am I doing? I'm going to use the Swirly Bird stamp set. Um, I have already made this project with it, um, which there is a video for, depending on which order I make, I put the videos at. It's either coming or been. Um, I think probably been. Um, and on that video, I talk about um, this being a really versatile set, so I thought I'd prove it. So, nothing quite like giving myself a challenge. Um, I am using minimal supplies today. That one used lots. Um, so I'm using Emerald MV as my card base, uh, and that's half a sheet of A4 cut in half, scored down the middle to make an A5 card. Um, this is dapper denim and this is cut at my usual small, uh, bigger size, which is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. All the dimensions will be on the blog post, so don't worry about those. Um, and then this is my smaller whisper white layer. She says, making sure she's picked up the right one. Yes. So five and a half by three and three quarters. But as I say, um, on the associated blog post, two colors, dapper denim and emerald envy. That's all I'm going to use. So this may work, and it may not, but let's give it a go. So I'm going to start with the dapper denim, and um, I've taken, it's easier to show you on this, I think, the two funny little things, uh, this and the little bow. So those are the only four stamps that I'm using, uh, and I'm going to, well, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do, but if you've seen the previous video, you may be able to guess. So dapper denim. Um, I have to get my brain round this, otherwise it's going to be, there we are, that's what I want, right, oh dear, I used to be indecisive and all that and now I'm not so sure, so one, now this is where I need to not get my head in the way and you can probably work out what I'm doing now. How's that for not getting your head in the way? String, ooh, and the bottom of your ink, your block. So, pop that there, clean that off. And then I won't use that just yet, which I will, but I'll, I'll bring out the Emerald Envy and very odd going on on my camera. It's, I don't know what that is. Oh well, there's a very odd light or symbol come up, but there we go. Right, so I'm just going to pop three little bows at the bottom of my kite. Right, so having done one, let's do another one, which should be easier because I now should know which way up to put where shall I put it? Over here, I think. I don't actually need to rush to clean that off this time because I won't be using it again. Oh, actually, I might. No, I've just had another thought. Ha <laughs> ha! See, this is card making on the fly. Nothing quite like not planning in advance. Uh, right, so. Actually, I might put this one that way up. No. See, as I say, planning in advance, not. Right, then, my dapper denim's just off camera, so let me just pop three little bows down here. And then, because I've just had this brilliant idea, probably not a brilliant idea, but there we go, I'm going to ink up my stamp again and do one in both colours. This is my brilliant idea because I like threes. I've suddenly realised I don't like even numbers. I mean I haven't suddenly realised but I'm suddenly realising that I'm making this project with even numbers and I don't like even numbers. Um, so I'm not going to use even numbers. And 
then that's already had blue, so I'll do one, two, three. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Move that out of the way before I put my hand on that. Don't need my piercing mat anymore. So, pop that on there. Does it need anything else? I think all it needs is, yeah, let's grab some of that. Excuse me a moment, just grabbing. Yeah, that's what it needs. A piece of the ruched ribbon. Yay! Right, so it's. Oop. No, it doesn't want to use that, so that's fine. We will use some tear and tape because I know that tear and tape and ruched ribbon does work. So just a. Might be easier if I do it this way up. I have to say there is part of me that quite likes doing the challenge yourself to make a video video. Um, what I'm not so lyrical about is the fact that the battery looks as if it's about to run out, but there we go. Um, I'm actually going to put that all the way around the whole of the card. Not the whole of the card, obviously, because then you wouldn't be able to open the card. But I want to layer this up first is what I mean. Because I've used Tombow, I've got a little bit of wiggle room. So there we are. And this now becomes a sticker. So I can just pop that there, flip it over, pop the ends down, fold my card base. It's always useful to have your card base ready to take your card. Then a bit more glue, and you will have heard me say this on too many occasions, less is more. Make sure the card's opening the right way round, which it is, and there you are. Now obviously you could turn up, change up the colours, um, and make it into a more male card, uh, sorry, more female card, um, possibly use three colours rather than two. Um, but anyway, there you are, on the fly. Um, so that was the one using a bazillion and one um, ink pads. This uses two, uh, and just the addition of a little bit of ribbon. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Um, the associated blog post is below. The, there's a link to my on online store below as well. So when you want to get the Swirly Bird bundle, remember, it's a bundle. You get um, thinlets as well. So you save 10%, which we all love. And in the new uh, annual catalogue, if it carries over, the bundle won't be there. So if you want a bundle price, now's the moment to buy it. Um, if you would like to order from the new annual catalogue early, um, then you need to join my team. Um, if you join now, you will be able to order your um, items from the from the annual catalogue in May. Um, so you'll get them a month earlier than anybody else and at a discount. So what's not to love about that? So uh, there'll be a link to that below as well. And there are FAQs on my um, on my blog about um, joining and the fact that it's no pressure um, for anyone. But um, there you go. Um, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot.